All right, I'm making sure I can see chat and everything. Hopefully this is working. Looks like there's quite a bit of delay from what I see in the stream versus what is coming to YouTube. All right. Make sure it shows up on my YouTube channel because sometimes it doesn't. cup of nope. It says there's two people here. Philip was like, you're gonna go live and stream Overwatch, right? I was like, well, I hadn't intended to, but I, I can if you want me to. I said I have to set up a whole different stream type system in order to do that. So... That's why we're on this setup instead of like YouTube or um, StreamYard or whatever. I'm using my gaming um, streaming stuff to do this. So I have two unboxings because I got two packages in the mail yesterday. One of them is jewelry slash business related and the other one is what I have on my face. So I figured I would wait a second to see if anybody else came in. It says there's like nobody, nobody in the stream. like somebody popped in and then they left the only only view it's showing right now is my iPad which is why I like to wait a minute and see usually by minute five people have realized that I'm live and then they come join me fingers crossed Sounds like my dad's making something in the kitchen. I'll smell it in a minute. I'll be able to tell you what it is. And I've got my, me, I can make myself larger. There. Um, uh, it says we have another person in here. Hello, hello. Wow, the stream on YouTube is like way behind. I don't know why it's so far behind. Well, anyways, it's it's been almost five minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I usually like to give people some time to get in and um, come to chat and that kind of stuff. I, I posted about it on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and direct messaged people that always say, hey, let me know when you go live so I can come join you in chat. And I sent everybody messages and of course my friend Philip wanted to be slick and he's like, so we're going to do Overwatch, right? And so I've got that loaded. I've got stuff loaded so I can do gaming content, but I had have an unboxing and stuff to do first and he 
he read the message, but he hasn't replied back yet. So I don't know what's wrong with him. Other than the fact that it's a guy. Maybe it's a guy thing, I'm sure. So, um, unboxing, we'll do... You know what? We'll do the drawers. So, in this envelope is... I mean, I've already taken stuff out because I had to give it to my dad so he could work on... Um, a project that I have for him. Let me throw my hair back really quick. I used that new Conair thing I got from Influencer this morning when I took a shower. I'm just going to leave it in here and just open the bag and dig and stuff. Okay, so I picked up some cute little let me look at the encoder so I can see this. So these are like ear ear pieces. Let me get a couple out. They're different shapes. These are for doing like earring drops and dangles and stuff. So you would hang it on an earring and then you would do like drops from each one and I got it's, it comes in a two pack two type designer pack and these are gold filled which means there's jeweler's brass in the middle so I got a pack of those they're really pretty I don't have a lot of like gold stuff I, I usually mainly work with silver when it comes to the jewelry and um that's mainly what we focused on with our business is jewelry. Now this I bought because I have satin ribbon and I have the enclosures to do like satin ribbon necklaces and stuff and chokers and things of that nature. But I couldn't quite figure out how to put them together. So I bought this because it was inexpensive. So I could see how they did like this part of it. And this is just, it's satin with a, a loop at the at the base so you can hang a, um, hang something off of it. So I got the satin, well actually this is satin on one side, velvet on the other, to do, um, to use as a template because I couldn't quite figure out how they use the crimps. I have the crimps to make these. I just didn't quite know how to put them together and working with satin ribbon it frays so easily I wanted to see how they finished the ends off so I'll take this apart and figure out what they did and how they created it so I can re redo it with the material that I have these are super cute um, I have a lot of people that ask me for shell stuff or for crosses and I'm not Christian so I don't carry a lot of cross stuff but these are like little um, mother of pearl shell drops that are little crosses and they're dyed so they've got different colors and stuff on them and these come with an anodized aluminum like little jump ring at the top I'll probably switch those out but I figured I could make um, like earrings out of a couple of them and make pendants like do a satin cord necklace and then um, put one of these on it and sell it as like a set or I could probably even use those for like belly ring charms if somebody wants something like that. Probably make a couple of each thing. I picked up some gold bales to go with some of the natural stone pieces that I have. And these are super easy. Basically you just pry them open just a little bit. Um, you get the hole ready by putting some like E6000 or like jeweler's glue inside the hole and then you just kind of slowly and carefully close it back in through the hole where usually it's something that's top drilled or um, drilled at the top so that you can just slide a bale into it and then I'll be able to make pendants out of those. And I've got a bunch of like natural stones. I picked up some more um, beading wire for making bracelets and necklaces and stuff. This was, I'm not quite sure. I can't remember what this was I ordered. I ordered a bunch of different stuff. Oh yeah, okay, I remember what these are. These are little bell butterfly charms. I'll get, I'll get one out so I can show you what I mean by the holes. <gasps> Crap, I dropped it. 
I'm being attacked by the back. All right, I have, I have a, I have a butterfly escapee. Where did it go? I don't want to move my chair because it's natural stone. I don't want to break it. Where, where did it? Oh, there it is. I see it. I got it. And it's like a light pink clear color, so it was hard to see anyways. All right. So here's a little butterfly piece. Maybe I should pick one that actually has color to it so I can show you that. A piece of moss agate right here. And these are drilled differently than I thought they would be. So let me find something to stick down in the hole. And I don't have any jewelry, anything over here other than like baggies and stuff. Anyways, this has, I have a little push pin I could try and use. There's a little hole down in here on top and bottom. So when you thread it, you'll put it on like a T wire and it'll hang like this as a pendant or, I mean, it's not too heavy. You could probably do earrings with these, but it'll stay upright because it's, this is center drilled and this is a piece of moss agate. So I have a bunch of these in various um, natural stones that I got in. I even have some halite here, it looks like. I've got some rose quartz. Uh, this one, I'd have to take it out of the bag and look at it. It's like a gray color, almost looks like labradorite, but it's not. We've got some cherry quartz. This is a piece of howlite. Not two pieces of howlite. We have another rose quartz. Another rose quartz. Oh, there's a little sun in here. Hey, we're supposed to get a sun. They were all supposed to be butterflies, but somebody screwed up and gave me a little sun. He's cute. And he's drilled the same way. And then. This is another piece of quartz. So I got a bunch of little butterflies that I can use to make um, pendants or charms or earrings or whatever out of. And because I have a couple of these stone charms that are the same type of stone, I could probably make howlite earrings, rose quartz earrings. I wish I had another thing of cherry quartz because cherry quartz is really pretty. It's like a, a pink with red veining through it. I'm gonna stick these back in the little baggy. So there's that. I'm gonna open my drawer so I can set this down inside there so it won't attack me again. And then I picked up these because they have little, like, wooden pieces attached to them that are all neat looking. So I got those. What else? Oh, these were free. This was, like, my free gift with an order. And the stream is, like, way behind. It's a good 45 seconds behind. These are, like, earring drops, but they're really pretty. They're sterling silver. And there's a, a little loop on the back. So you hang the earring design through there and it hides like how you have it on. And then it has this cute little like teardrop design on the front. And this was my, they always send, my supplier always sends like a free gift with every order. So you never know what you're gonna get. Let's see what else do I. Oh yeah, I picked up some cat's eye beads and a couple of different colors. I've got three different strands here of cat's eye beads. Cat's eye beads are just, you know, glass. But I plan on making necklaces and bracelets and stuff out of those. I have some that are similar colors, but they're different shapes. And I like to make jewelry that's corresponding colors. I'm going to stick it back in the bag as a feet. I keep watching people come in. They'll come in and then they'll stay for a second and then they'll leave. 
but nobody's in chat. I mean, I'm just talking jewelry stuff. I haven't even gotten to the makeup yet. I'm trying to stuff things back in the bag. And the live stream on YouTube is like really lagging. Like behind. So like if I say it's 144, by the time it hits 145, it'll finally show on the screen for everybody else that, you know, it's 145. Or 144 for them. I'm like, what? The stream is like way behind. Let's see what else is in this bag. Oh, this is another. These are more um, bales that I picked up. They're like the gold ones, but these are in silver. No, well, that was empty. <laughs> and then I took all the brass wire and uh, the ear wires that I ordered so I could finish up the earrings for Felicia. Because she doesn't have pierced ears, so I had to buy clip clip earrings in brass to match the um, color of the chain. So I still have her earrings that I'm going to make um, that are like a surprise for her. But she doesn't know that it's coming, so I'm going to get them made and then I'll just mail them to her when I get them done. And then I have the bracelet to finish as well. I picked up these big chunky these are like big chunky beads and stuff a lot of people are wearing like a lot more chunky jewelry lately I've noticed so I picked up some really big Chris is saying he, that he can't do chat on his phone for YouTube. I guess I need to... There it is. I'm going to take it. Whoa. Chris is saying it. Okay. No, oh, stop that. Okay, I just sent you a picture, Chris, that way you can see where to click on a mobile device now. Your phone might be different. I'm on an iPhone, so I don't know if it looks different on Android. But, okay, so that's the jewelry stuff that I got in. More, more beads and stuff to play with. I smell, I smell bacon, Daddy. Oh, no bacon. Bacon. Oh. That's my I smell bacon. 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 Of what? Dead pig. Yes, yes it is. It was a pig at one point. Yes, it was. Dead. It is dead. Well, I didn't kill it. it smells like you put onion in there, too. I did. Did you throw taters in? Yes, I did. Ooh. Well, I smell the onions, but I can't really smell the taters. But well, which is why I said I couldn't smell them. Ah. Well, I don't know why there's no chat, Chris. 
All right, hang on. Let me see if I can hit edit on the stream thing. I mean, I've got chat enabled. And I have it on my iPad. So I know I can see the chat on my iPad. So I don't know why chat isn't showing for you. That is really strange. Hey, Nadine. Well, at least you're there. I mean, you can send me messages on Facebook and I can see them, so. Hey, Casey. Uh, well, I learned how to cook from my dad. My mom burns everything. Her food is inedible. And that's saying something nice about her cooking. Right, Dad? All right, so then we have this box that I also got yesterday. This was the stuff my dad paid for. And I am wearing the eyeshadow palette. So there's the contents. Alright, that's getting annoying. So I'm going to hide that. The chat box frame was driving me bonkers. Hopefully when somebody types something that I'll be able to see it a little bit better and it'll stay up longer. All right, so the first item, I just, I couldn't wait to try this stuff on because it came in yesterday and I was like, so here's the first item. And I expected this to be a lot bigger. I expected it to be twice the size. And when I got it, I was like, what's this? Oh, hi, Chris. So this is a pressed powder palette and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 shades that are considered not safe for the eye use or not safe for eye use because they're considered to be pressed glitters. I'm trying to load my order history so I can actually like load the palette. It says that there, somebody posted online um, on one of the swatch accounts that there's like six glitters in here. I can only see like three or four. I don't know what they were talking about for um, the products having glitter glitter in them. I mean, there's like a matte shade that has like a glittery effect to it. And I think maybe that's why they were saying that it had glitter in it because it's basically a matte eyeshadow with, with shimmer in it. And a lot of people hate that. I'm actually wearing one. Nadine, that's funny. All right, the palette says it's the one dollar per shade, or less than one dollar per shade, and it does say that there's pressed glitters in here, according to this, but it doesn't say how many. Let's see, looking at the description.
Okay, this one here says glitter with. All right, so let me get this open so you guys can see it. Take the little plastic thing off. All right, so here's the palette. It says, um, Prismatic here is a mid-tone pink glitter with rainbow pinpoints. I'm just looking for the term glitter. Okay, So Precious, which is the other one I, I knew was a glitter, is a warm peach glitter with gold and green duochrome shift. This one up here I know is a glitter, the Lucky Charm shade. Let me scroll down. Okay, Lucky Charm, which is this one up here, says opal gold glitter with teal and gold pinpoints and I'm wearing this one on my eyes so I know that's a glitter but that's only there's only four that I physically see so let's see that doesn't okay kaleidoscope which is which is what I'm wearing on my lid on this eye it says pale blue glitter with pinpoints of teal blue and purple glitter So there are only four glitters in here. I, I could have swore somebody online said that there was more. <laughs> well, Nadine, I think everybody needs at least a little bit of culinary school. Smell a little hot? Okay. Poke it a few times, bring me a tater. So anyways, this is the palette that I'm wearing. I am wearing the purple row, the entire purple row on this eye. So this entire row here, um, I'm wearing on this eye. And then this eye, I'm wearing everything but this shade right here because this color is more of a warm tone yellow and it would have clashed with the look. And I had all sorts of issues with this blue down here. It was like all kinds of like patchy and stuff. So I said the hell with it and I put a glitter over it to kind of like hide that fact. Let me see if I can get really close to the camera. Let me blind myself with my flashlight here. The palette just fell off my desk. I'm going to see if I can get even closer to the camera. I'm going to move the camera up. But I did record looks for, I did record like a first impressions video, so that will go up. Um, Actually, the footage is importing to my computer right now. So I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff. Yeah, well, I've only tried like nine shadows out of it so far. So I won't know how the other ones work. I plan on doing a four looks video with the other like rows. I'm going to do a row of each color on each you know eye to make sure that it's you know see if the if I have any more issues this I don't remember ordering but this is I guess a collaboration palette with Kathleen lights and it's just a, a magnetic palette that I can use to put singles in so this is um, because I wanted to depot some of my BH shadows and I didn't have another packing slip stuff. Um, I had stuff falling off. Um, I didn't have enough like Z palettes to do that and I do want to like break down some of my bigger palettes. I'll do these next and then one thing last. This is the lip color I have on. This is a just a tint lip crayon and it's in the shade Shaka or Shaka S-H-A-K-A -A. It's like a crayon format. 
it's like a neutral but it smells like I was like man what is this guava mango passion fruit what is this I can taste it and it's disgusting and you can smell it which is also disgusting so I was like oh this is bad what is this and then I had to go on the website and look and sure enough it's passion fruit and it makes me nauseous oh there's a little sticker on the top that tells me I think this was supposed to go on the bottom because usually they put them like down here but it's on the lid oh well I'll leave it um, usually they don't put the name on there yeah there's nothing on like the tube that tells you what the color is so it's nice that it's at least on there I don't know why I'm putting it back in the box I'm just gonna go put it in the back room and then we have a perfume that reminds me of something I used to have from Avon like years ago god this stuff stinks this lip it's a beautiful lip color but the smell of it is making me want to puke this is a rollerball perfume and Avon used to have this perfume called Hawaiian hibiscus like 20 something years ago and that's what this reminds me of so I'm gonna leave that out of its thing it said this is called sea blossom sea blossom a fresh beachy white floral you've been dreaming of featuring the delicate jasmine and dune flower aroma with a soft note of coconut milk and warm sand so it definitely reminds me of um, an old Avon perfume that I used to love the hell out of no I don't like passion fruit or mango or guava they all make me really nauseous so then the last, this was actually a part, um, the palette and this like came together as a set because it was like cheaper to get it like this. Let's see if it tells me how much it is on the website really quick. Because the palette itself is $34 or you could get the palette and the liners for $72 and it's $106 value for um, getting the two products. So you're saving like $36 getting both together and there's only one shade in here I already had and I didn't have the rest so I was like oh yeah sign me up these are all eyeliners and these things work really well in the waterline they're like six dollars each or five they used to be five dollars each I think they're six dollars each now let, let me look eyeliner I have the three from Raw Beauty Christie I've got the white one which is this which is exit I've got punch and I've got one other like a navy blue liner yeah these are six dollars each they used to be five but these work really well in the waterline and they like stay for a long time and I'm wearing this blue and the purple next to it uh, in the perspective looks so I'm just happy to have pastels because I don't have a lot of pastels and I don't have a lot of these I don't have any of these purple shades in my collection so I will probably just leave this in a little brush roll that or you know the little roll it's got and this is like faux leather it's not like real or anything but it's cute as long as it keeps them together and whatnot is all I matter Bacon, yes, I smell bacon. <laughs> yep, there's bacon cooking in the kitchen. Bacon. Bacon. I made food yesterday for Leonard. Pig stomach. Well, I've probably eaten one of those too, so it wouldn't surprise me. Got tape on my hand. Where you come from? So that was the other unboxing that I had to do. Um, I just put all that empty packaging back in there let me run and put these are Chris are we gonna overwatch I know Philip said something about overwatch and I haven't seen him say anything back also I wanted to ask do you have Diablo 3 because Jason wanted to know if you wanted a Diablo 3 with us I'm trying to get the level 70 let me throw these in the bathroom I'll be right back
My jacket fell off, boobers. Kitty, kitty. baby mm -hmm. I have a kitty he's a sweet kitty he's trying to claw me with his hand I can't even see it bless you That hurts. Let's 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 re reposition here. Huh? You just knocked something over on my desk. Okay, he's down. Dad just came in with a bowl of food, which means it's it's dinner time. Oh yeah, and this is what that dryer that air dryer thing did to my hair today I did little sections of curls with it Is it done, Daddy? Yep. Is it Liner? still waiting on Phil. Maybe we can I can stream on Twitch or something after I eat because I haven't eaten anything since I got up. So anyways just a quick live stream. It's like I don't know if chat just stopped. I just realized that um, this the stream thing it was like 15 minutes behind, which is odd. So Chris and, and Nadine are debating on whether or not bacon is pig stomach. Chris says bacon, pig stomach, if I'm not mistaken. Nadine, no. Nadine says, I don't believe that bacon is made from actual pig stomach. It's made from the fatty area in the pig's belly, which is separate from the actual stomach organ. So. Well, let's look it up. Let's see. Bacon can come from a pig's belly, back, or side, essentially anywhere that has an exceptionally high fat content. In the United Kingdom, back bacon is most common, but, in, but Americans are most familiar with streaky bacon, also known as side bacon, which is a cut from the pork belly. So, not technically the stomach, the belly. So, there you go.
and there's even a video on YouTube on how to butcher a pig every cut explained plus ham and it's 45 minutes long if you would care to watch it by somebody named the bearded butchers it was uploaded May 4th 2020 so if you're really that curious about watching or learning about different cuts of pork I've never seen, um, I mean, I, I've, I've been in slaughterhouses before, but I've only been in, like, for the pig side, I've only been in their version of the slaughterhouse where they go in and castrate the pigs, where they run them through a machine and have this thing that they, and they pull a trigger and it goes, and then they send them on down the line. I, I've, I've seen, an emasculator? Demasculator. Demasculator. Yeah, I, and I, I've seen those done, and then I've been in a slaughterhouse for cows, and I've seen that done, where they hook them up by their feet, and they run them through, and they cut them, and guts fall out, and shit all over the floor, and so. And I, and I, I know how hot dogs are made, too, and I still eat them, so. I will never be, like, a vegan or a vegetarian because of the fact that People, you know, people switch to either veganism or vegetarianism because they watch how the animals are processed and, and that kind of stuff. And that it grosses them out and then they can't eat meat after that point. So, um, it's, it's one of those things that, you know, I guess it takes a certain kind of person. But my mom used to watch, like, the surgery channel back when it was on... Um, TV and we would sit and eat dinner and watch that so I mean if I can eat dinner and watch people having various forms of surgery and I know how animals are processed and raised and and slaughtered and cut up and all that kind of stuff and still be okay with it then I mean we're omnivores for a reason we kind of have to eat meat um and when our body doesn't get the right amount of like things like amino acids and certain proteins and stuff like that your body does seem to suffer so and even though i'm a rare blood type and i'm not supposed to eat red meat due to the type of blood that i have like my dad's same blood type as me only difference is he's positive i'm negative um and a groups are um we have side effects to eating things like red meat and stuff like that so they recommend a diet of like fish and poultry and you know basically birds and swimmy things the a blood type was original blood type the others came after denise says that we're alien we're alien blood that's what she always says she says we have alien blood which is, which is probable. It's pretty close to true. Yeah, if you you know know about the Anunnaki story. Yeah, we are the A type. A blood type is the original blood type. And that's why thirty percent of the humans are a blood type. But we, my blood type is even A-B more. Negative. Yeah, but I'm more rare than an A B negative or po- um, A B positive is the most rare, and then A negative and then A B negative is more common than mine which is odd you are odd well you know i i have a negative blood type that maybe that's why i have such a negative perspective on things at times could be you can make bacon out of just about anything nadine and yes you can make venison bacon but it's not called venison bacon it's called something else and if my uncle was still alive, he would know, but he is no longer on this planet, so. He used to do hunting and stuff. Yeah, I'm, if I don't know, I look stuff up. Like, I read a post on Facebook this morning that just kind of really angered me about people using diffusers with essential oils that are even toxic to humans to breathe once heated and this person poisoned their dog using a specific essential oil in it um, that like I said is toxic to even humans and almost killed her animal over it and I left a comment on the 
the video about and one of one of the oils listed on there is toxic period um, is not supposed to be used um, at all for human or animal consumption because the plant it comes from is poisonous so why you would put it in your oil diffuser I have no idea but then this lady made a comment underneath my comment saying that um, no people aren't stupid they just think it's the new new fad and this and that and they don't know that they're doing harm I'm like well then they, they need, need to do to, some research and they're like well they maybe they just don't have time or whatever and she said that she works in an office building where um, people are always talking about oil diffusers and they've got them at their desks and stuff like that and she says people just don't know I was like you know you if you're gonna bring something into your home and you have animals it is your responsibility to not only make sure that they don't have a reaction to it but make sure it's not toxic like macadamia nuts for dogs will like one macadamia nut will fucking kill them was it walnuts do that too or is it pecans it's a, there's another nut besides macadamia nuts that's poisonous to dogs i can't remember I don't think they can eat cashews i know they can't eat raisins or grapes grapes they can eat raisins they no, can't they can't eat grapes either really and i think onions are also off limits if they're not cooked but there's a lot of stuff that we as humans consume that can poison our animals to death in even small quantities like chocolate chocolate is is um toxic to most animals well nadine you would know it, it would be on your dog tags if you still have your dog tags all right chris well let me know if you want a game i've got blizzard open so um we can do that later i'm just kind of on a rant now but it, it astounds me how much people don't know about certain things and that they're not interested in learning and then they go to the doctor with their animal and their animal is dying because of something they did because they they didn't think to look it up and then the vets are like charging them out the wazoo for all these vet fees and stuff because of what they've done the vet has to kind of counteract it and the human is like well i didn't know and the vet's like well, why didn't you research it why didn't you look that kind of stuff up and, you know vets try and tell you when you have an animal th there are certain things that you shouldn't feed them and and certain things that they shouldn't um, be around at all and you know there was a big stink a while back between the difference between uh, paraffin candles and soy candles and both of them can be toxic to animals um just like whether you use a um cotton wick or a wood wick on certain candles or the type of material used to make a wick for a candle can also give off fumes that could be toxic in small uh, spaces with animals and it, the funny thing is is a lot of people don't even think about that they just bring something home and they plug it in or they burn it or whatever and they don't know because they don't think enough about what's around them to to do the research i know yeah they don't think period and it pisses me off you know i care more about my animals than i do most people okay let me rephrase that i care about my animals a whole hell of a lot more than i care about anybody on this planet human or subhuman um so very rarely if ever do i burn candles at all because i know candles can cause harm to our animals and we you know live in a state that gets hit by hurricanes quite heavily on a regular basis so we always have candles for like emergencies and stuff and I've got one sitting here on my desk um, but it's made out of soy and it has a 100% cotton wick in it so I know if I burn it for more than two hours that I need to snuff it out because the if I start to see smoke rising from it that's more than just like light gray I know that that can be toxic to my cat and so I'm not willing to risk his lungs for me to enjoy the fragrance of a raid candle. <laughs> At least that's what it smells like to me. The candle smells like raid. <laughs> but it, it, I guess it is what it is. I mean, you, you kind of have to think, think. The operative word here is think. And a lot of people don't seem to want to do that. Um, so it's sad. 
but I'm going to end the diatribe here. I didn't intend to do a, a diatribe. Um, all the fun unboxing stuff is at the beginning. Dad and I still have to watch the season finale of Mandalorian. Ooh, we could watch Mandalorian while I eat, Daddy. It's short. I can go ahead and get it pulled up now. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to eat. I haven't eaten anything since I got up this morning. Multiple hours, like more like 12 hours ago when I got up. Um, tomorrow's video is like half edited right now. Holiday look number six, I think. Should be six. Yeah, six, because five went up today. So, I will get that finished and then get that uploaded so I can get it scheduled for tomorrow. And I will see you guys later. Hopefully you all are having a, a good day or night, wherever you guys are. And um, if the guys want to, you know, play video games or something later, then the my Twitch account is linked in the description box if you care to follow me on Twitch and, and watch me play games, video games with the guys. I haven't played a whole lot of video games the past two weeks. Jason and I played Diablo 3 yesterday. And it took us several attempts to kill Meth, uh, Methale. So, yeah, when we finally when we finally killed him, I was like, ah! so he was a difficult loss. But Jason kept dying, so <laughs> it it's better when I have help. Um, I just scared the camera. I did. I've done done scared the camera. Anyways, so I'm gonna go and eat, and I will see you guys later. Bye.